And we're live. A A A. Welcome to another episode of Easy Sports. And today I'm joined by the homies. Nelly Sang underscore Mike Nine CTN. What's happening, Jets? Yeah, what's up? Bro? Good, I'm good. Ah, no. good. I'm excited. I'm good on my excited. end. I'm good on my end. How are you guys doing? Are you guys excited? I'm excited about I'm excited. football. Nah, I'm not yeah, excited man, about football. Your team's going down. <laughs> yeah, so that's why today I'm gonna be left talk. Because hey, let me um, we all know this team of mine can do the things. Yeah, no, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Can you guys hear me? Just want to make yeah, sure yeah, that I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, guys, I just wanted to ask you guys, why isn't tonight's game hyped up? Are, 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 we, amid, are we that bad, guys, to a point where, yeah. like, there's yeah. no zero... I mean, back in the days, not too long ago, it's when it was Manchester United versus Chelsea, bro. There was buzz, dog. And now, hey... We are no, we are what we call um, both our teams are what we call used to be. Yes. And that's and that's that. Okay, now. Even the sky, um, I watched the sky at six o'clock. They like they like did a, a two minute Nyana segment and that was that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that this game deserves more than two minutes. I'm like, I, okay, sure. They were more talking sure. about the golf. And what's it like <laughs> darting and, and, and crap? It's almost like, come yeah. on, guys, these are, yeah, we just we 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 fallen off. It's we we ilamati take us into to go to a one time they out ahead it all. For me, uh, I completely agree with Cecil. I think the use of used to be teams is such is so perfectly used. You know, like we don't even have big profile players anymore. Fede, Palmer, Bruno, but like it's it's not exciting. I was talking to another guy who supports Chelsea, and he said Chelsea's gonna beat us two 0 And I was like, who's gonna score for you guys besides Palmer? You know, so it's it's, it's so tough, right? You can predict who, like usually, like you said, X back in the day, um, we could be like Ronaldo's about to bag a, a brace. You know, Douglas, um, not Douglas Costa, Diego Costa might score a hat trick. Right now, we don't know. It's unpredictable. We don't have. Uh, big names. It, 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 Hazard, it, Hazard, it, hi, Hazard, Mike, triple a play. I'm saying, is she hey, is none no. at all. Hey, the Kuro days. Uh, yeah, you know, I, Hazard was a problem. Bro. I used to fear that guy. Yo, 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 yo. The whole league. But, yeah. And then I just wanted to ask, actually. Back, back in the day, the Chelsea fans, which Man United player did you guys fear? You know, I just wanted to check. <laughs> yeah, I think it was probably Rooney. Hey, man, for me, I think they went through phases. Hey, Vanessa Roy, hey, the Vanessa Roy used to piss me off. Because <laughs> Vanessa Roy, the game is like 2 1. He just he sits there, and these defenders, for some reason, we're leading 2 1. These defenders fall asleep. Bah! Yeah. Ashai, this is the, on the 89th minute. 93rd minute, Ashai Vieve, the same thing. 3 2, Ishai, <laughs> the, the ref blows. I'm like, yeah, so they, they went through uh, Vanessa Roy. Uruni, not so much. Uruni, I loved him when he was playing against Man City. He always, Man City, Everton, for some reason, he hated the O in Arsenal. He hated those teams. Okay, Ronaldo, I think everyone knows Ronaldo was a problem. Um, yeah. Nah, but he never did match against Chelsea. Because there was yeah, that one that, match, no, no, no. Yeah, no, Ronaldo no. never. It's always, it was always these little guys that used to score against us. Yeah. About Park, Mike. Hey. Yeah, people that, yeah, it's always those little guys that used to score against us. But like, other than that guy, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. I can't yeah. remember who else. Yeah, he never used to do anything. We never, like, you look at, yeah, he never used to fear anything. Like, mm. the only people that went in us were probably like about gigs. Yeah. Um, of course, not so much. But yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And um, then Meli- but, I think it's really a dominant team back then. Though. So I yeah. mean, like even exact same thing with Arsenal back in the day. I used to whip yeah. them week in, week out. Um yeah. Yeah. Liverpool was really a problem team for us. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then I think, I think, which 
Which Chelsea yeah, fan? Yeah, Ricky Ricky, yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, right, like, uh, Mike said it earlier, like, it okay. all depended on the forms. The forms so of each team. Aware, aware. Mm. Uh, when, when, when Chelsea were picking up form, you know, we'd be afraid of everyone because on the team because anyone could score at that time, you know. So, and I, I, I'd like to assume now, but they were afraid of us when we were in form. They weren't afraid of specific players. Uh, like Mike said earlier, he wasn't afraid of Ronaldo. But, I mean, Ronaldo could get a bag and assist, you know. So, it, it was about forms for me. But but when Chelsea were at their peak, they were, they, were, they, they were dominant, man. They were dominant. I don't have to talk about Manchester at their peak. I mean, I think we all know. But yeah. when, when, when Chelsea are up here, no, they're unplayable. Back in the day when they had Oscar, Sesk, oh, my God, man. Chelsea was yeah. something else. I know, big time, big time, big time. My uncle, we're just reminiscing, you know, because I need to the, tonight's game hasn't been marketed the way, you know, we used to be marketed. Remember the hype, dog, you know? So we're just talking about um, who, like, I didn't even ask really this question, but who did he fear from Chelsea? Like, you know, I asked to oh. Mike, and Mike, yeah, gave a, a dope response, but yeah. Um, it, like, um Hazard, Diego Costa. Um Yeah. I don't know. Mata used to do his thing back in the day. Hey Mata, bro. Hey Mata used to I was be a problem. About Mata. I was thinking about Mata. Hey Mata, Mata used to be a problem, bro. Hey. Yeah. Even about David Luiz and Fitz, they're playing match men of the match performances against United. <laughs> hey, drop <laughs> bar, bro. There was a period. I, yeah. <laughs> there was a period where we there was a period where we dominated the fixture you know yeah. even when sir alex was there we just united was just the team we yeah. always beat like always beat it was nice it was a very very nice period that one <laughs> <laughs> how 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 it's changed dog like how it, uh, this, this fixture has no hype, zero hype. It's, it's, I mean, this no, but that, yeah. When, when you when you look at when you look at the results from the fixture over the years, mm. we've played so many draws, so hey. many draws. Like, and Chelsea hasn't beaten Man United since 2017. And are you for real? And within that, yeah, within that, there's been some embarrassing losses. Lampard's first game, losing 4 0 to, to Ole and stuff like yeah. The, the fixture has lost. Also, the teams don't play for anything anymore. You know, yeah. that's the other thing. When the rivalry was, was was at its peak, we were a threat to Man United. You know, we were a threat to their 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 monopoly over the Premier League. So it, it always felt like the stakes were high. Today, what are we playing for? You know. We are playing to be out of uh, the 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 bottom the the bottom half. Man United is playing to to be closer to Spurs. That's above them, I'm basically. Fighting you know. I'm fighting for Conference League. I'm fighting for Conference League. Yeah, only Conference League, my daughter. I need to be in Europe. <laughs> Yo, dog. Can you imagine, Sweeney? That, that's how bad it is, bro. That's bad, embarrassing. Bro. Um, embarrassing. And, that's and, and and the weird part and the scary part is that there's no yeah. end in sight, eh? I, I don't I when I, I'm looking at my team, I don't know what needs to happen for my team to be okay. It's a coach. Because ah, not even you, you get a new coach. Ah, it's a coach. You need you need to get a winner. Once you have a winner. The squad will be a winning squad too. It's the coach. Hey, but the so, squad is a young squad. That's yeah. the problem. That's the other problem. Nah, it's, it's not for these but guys the, are professional. There's some of these guys. I, are I feel like I agree with Mike. I feel like you need a coach that's going to set a culture. What Chelsea lacks right now is a culture. You need a coach that's going I, to I, set I, a I know ID. Set, yeah, you're right. Yeah, set a standard and say this is a standard I demand. You don't meet it. And it's not it's not even about um the standard for for how we play but the standard for the mentality of the squad that we have and because these are still young players 
it's very easy to cultivate that. We see Arteta yeah. do it with, with his young squad at Arsenal. They didn't have a culture to draw from. Arteta created a winning culture for them. So now they hold themselves accountable to that standard. You need that. Then okay. the leaders can feel, come in and assist. Do, do you feel like we are being harsh on Upoch? Uh, I'm, I'm speaking as a Manchester United uh, fan. I don't care about Chelsea. But I'm just saying, do you feel, <laughs> feel like we are, being, <laughs> we are being just a bit harsh on Poch? Because Poch has inherited a team. This is not the team that he, you know, ideally would want to build. Mike, just hear me out. Hear me out. I could be wrong. But I'm just saying, are we being harsh on Poch? Can yeah. I answer you? Nah, uh, we're not. Nah, we're not. Okay. Can, can I answer there's, you? There's games we have lost. There's games we have drawn just because of his substitutions. Okay. And it's a simple thing. I think we could have beaten Man City twice. Yeah. Example. Then the men decided to go defensive. There's there's certain aspects when it comes to uh, substitutions. Who puts out on the field? It's an issue, dude. And I mean, like, I... it's about time. Fetu, if the strikers are missing in week in and week out, missing easy opportunities, Fetu, there should be at least a Awayana session, Fetu, of practicing how to finish. Because week yeah. in and week out, Fetu, I am surprised. Like, not even surprised anymore, dude. I know somebody's going to miss a sit. Yeah. I yeah, we, we've got that. We've got that, uh, that that terrible record. Which we we rank our, our, our amongst the highest in Europe for missing big chances. So yeah, how they define yeah. big chances? Um, go uh, 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 chances that you should be converting. Be it tap ins, be it a, a cross that comes in, and mm. Chelsea is ranked. It's right up there across Europe. And these yeah, big yeah. chances come end of the day. They are scored. Um, yeah. the, the other thing that irritates me about the porch, and I was a, a, a porch fan, still am because he's still in the club. The one thing that irritates me is he's doing what Utenak does post the match, where he's not being honest with the fans. Utenak, you can watch his stinker. I watched the game near Brentford, and then he's like, oh. I think we did very well. That's nah, nigga. Why are you like to the fans? Why are you like to the people? Don't do that. I agree. Agreed. Um, was like, torture. you even ask yourself, Muti, is he watching a different game than what we're watching? Or maybe yeah, yeah, did yeah. I drink a bit too much that uh, I hate Man United that much that I'm I'm, I'm seeing e e e e e Brentford is Real Madrid. Come on, guys. Poch does the same thing. Where that's he's where not the comes honest. In. That's where that's where culture setting comes in for me. Yes. You need a coach that's going to, to 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 say, today we don't provide the best effort. This is not what we discussed. This is not what um, the tactical plan was. The players did their own thing. You you need standards. Um, Poch is not going to set those standards. He's always going to find a creative excuse for why he's not meeting um, what he needs. He said the other day that data indicates we should be in the top four. So, when has data ever been, ever, ever been? Like, the only data that matters in the league is points. That is the only yeah. data that matters. And if you don't have that data, you cannot use any other data to protect yourself. And I feel Poch has been given too long a rope to hang himself, um, which doesn't meet the standards as well of what Chelsea Football Club is or was. Because I hate saying is because this is a different t club completely. It doesn't meet yeah. um, the standards, and it sort of it sort of creates this expectation that well, any other coach who can improve us just slightly will will deserve time. Mm. Also, I was watching. I feel as though Poch's track record with managing talented players shows that he was never the man for the job. PSG was a huge exposure, a, a, a mm. expose for him. Spurs was a, a, a big indicator for him. He, const he constantly under underachieves with 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 high highly talented teams. The recruitment of Spurs was amazing. He couldn't achieve anything with those players. Um, recruitment of PSG was a dream. Couldn't achieve anything with the, with, with with that team. The uh, Chelsea think has been the PSG, a, guys. The PSG has been great at Chelsea. Like it's uh, been great. We've we've had we've had a few players that you can still say 
I'm still not sure how good this one is, but for the most part, we've recruited very well. And the quality shows, we create chances. Once we, yeah. we, we, we get going, we, we are very good. The quality can be there. We just don't have a, a coach that is able to, to elevate that team f- from the pieces it, it has to what it can become. And you see nah. it, the players are having to, to make a plan in order to win games by themselves. For example, on Sunday, they said that the, the plan was to find Cole Palmer. How is that a plan? <laughs> How is that a tactic? A plan, you know. Palmer? A 21 is carrying a whole football club. And, uh, yes, it uh, doesn't for him. We, we, be, we be fighting for relegation right now. <laughs> True. And then I, was, I, I don't know if you guys saw the interview. Um, 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 John yeah, I, I saw can it. You? I saw it. Yeah, we can. Wait, he says, uh, he says during the time of the, the Abramovich era, Uti, if the manager is not delivering um, uh, points, he can yeah, the, helicopter the helicopter on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Uti, once the helicopter comes, we know. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Um I, I want to speak to Onke's uh, point about exposure. I feel like um a, a, a lot of a lot of um eyes are being looked at Poch, but equally so they need to also be diverted towards players. Having Cole Palmer come from a team which is within the league that Chelsea is playing in and be so far ahead of everybody else also speaks to speaks the level volumes on, on everyone else. Volumes, yeah. Man. Man. It speaks volumes because it's not like this guy's coming from Bundesliga or whatever. He was playing in this league last season or the season, yeah, last season. So for pa- Palmer to come through and make Sterling, who I respect, I love, look, look like an inferior player. Um, who else is on the other wing? Mudrik making him look like an in- inferior player. Like to me, that's wait, 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 wait. Mudrik is not a bad player. You put him. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. He produces, but every time they put him out left, this is a coaching thing. There's nothing else if they do. They put him where Mudrik is supposed to be playing. Gallagher is playing. Agree. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, come even from the defensive side, Petri, then what are they doing in training when it comes to set pieces? Dude? Yes. We being no, no, no. Mike pieces. Mike and Pig. Mike and Pig. The boy is amazing. Before he even came to the league, I was rating him. I was singing his praises. But all I was speaking to was the fact that as much as Poch is to blame, we also have to look at the fact that some players aren't stepping up. And X, I'm going to look at you because you're a United uh, supporter. Our players also, Brentford, we lack that grit, that fight to work hard. I'm not talking about quality. Dog quality and, and working hard are two different things. Just to work hard. You know, when Palmer is playing, he's bringing both aspects to the game. He's working hard and he's got quality. Whereas I feel like some of the Chelsea players sometimes don't work that hard. Same thing with United. I'm being equal here. I'm being equal. Nah, it's a coaching thing, eh? This guy once made Messi have his worst ever season under him. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, 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 just what I feel, man. I, uh, I feel as though when you go to a big team, when you go to a big team, we, 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 we crucified Jose Mourinho for reactive tactics, man. We crucified Antonio Conte for reactive tactics, where you play on the back foot, you control the game without the ball, and then you try to hit on the counter. We said, United fans said this, Chelsea fans said this. We said that's old football. Um, new, um, teams should play with more control. Teams should, ca- should, should care about having and retaining the ball and playing and all of that. And we said football like that is moving, has, is, is, is outdated, right? Mourinho was chased away. They said his football was outdated. Ten Hag and Ole played the exact same type of football. No possession, you play on the counter, you play on the break. Um, Poch plays the same type of possession um, football. No possession, you play on the counter, you play on the break. The problem with that is at a big club where you have a big talent, um, a big talented team, if you're not coaching control for that team, because this is not Real Madrid. Real Madrid, they play that system because Ancelotti is, is an Italian. You're going to play on the break. 
That's just yeah. it. And that's how Rigid. Real Madrid plays. They play on the break. But what they do at Real Madrid is they rest without the ball. So that when they break, they can kill you with their speed. So without yeah. the ball, they basically maintain their block. Same as Arsenal was playing last week. Just that Arsenal doesn't have quality to play on the break. So they couldn't pass out of the break. Literally, they were struggling to pass out of their own um, area. So with Real Madrid, is they are great at passing from deep in their possession. Because that's all yeah. they And they pick their passes. They pick their passes. Exactly. Exactly. So they don't need to control the ball. They don't need 70% of possession to kill you. They can get you 4 nil with 52% possession. Yeah. Because they, they control periods in the game. They don't control the entire game like a Pep Guardiola team does. Or like... Um, like Arsenal tries to do. So we as fans started to want coaches that coach that way. That thing of wanting hard work, that's the old style of football. That's the Jose Mourinho style of football that we, United and Chelsea fans said, was outdated, correct? So we can't then want players to continuously give us the same type of football we already fired coaches for. We need our football to change, meaning we need better managers. We can't have a coach okay, who okay. coaches a block and, and expect players to continuously to work hard. We literally have, have muscle injuries right now because all our players do is run. That's yeah, all they okay. do. <laughs> and a great man changes his mind when he's presented with new information. New information now tells us to see we can revert to whichever system that we want to revert because let's let's just say my span chelsea is sitting 12th and we are in the we've just started april the season is ending in we've been two playing months. on the counter the whole season we've been playing on oh. the counter we've been re- relying on hard work all season that's all we've been doing running i know the whole i know i know a russian a russian um um a russian sugar daddy is, is it watches this game probably in a yard somewhere and whatnot he must be turning in his silk sheets to see what have they done to his baby. Yeah. Like, and, and what do you think is going on at Chelsea? What do you think yeah. is wrong? What do you think is missing? X. That's what I was... I, remember when I started the conversation, I said, I do yeah. not know what it takes to fix my club. Okay, no, 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 Mike. I agree. Guys, come on. Manager. But I, I think know the players takes. have to take... A, they have to be Guys, accountable. We all know, but we all know I what, know what it, it takes. Wait, hold on. Right, Let me finish ex, this. Speak, speak your mind. Hey, my ex, you talk after me. I just want to finish this this train of thought. Yeah, but on, 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 on social media and the presence of these Chelsea boys, they irritate me. Ooh, 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 Jackson is showing off his new hairstyle. I'm like, motherfucker, score a goal. Leave the hairstyle alone. Like, <laughs> right now, reckon? I'd rather have all of them cut all their hair and let them play football. Because they seem to yeah. focus on the social aspect. They're not winning any games. Chelsea is 12th, and we are in April. All right, gents, come on. Let that marinate in. Come on. Hey, and you guys, yeah, go on, you, you have 30, how many points? 39 points. No, no, that's, that's, the new, that's the new reality, guys. I, 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 I feel like all season we've been trying to fight this reality. The reality is what happened when before Tuchel was fired is the plan was presented to him and he rejected it. And then mm. he was fired because they didn't share the vision of the owners. So then the owners continued with their vision. And then when they were replacing Potter, they interviewed um, Enrique, who disagreed with their vision. They interviewed Nagelsmann, who disagreed with their vision. The only person who agreed with their vision was Poch. But Poch started the season saying that the team needs more experience, meaning Poch only agreed in order for him to get out of the unemployment line. But <laughs> once he, he, he arrived, he realized very quickly the structure that is build, being built here is not sustainable for what Chelsea actually is. But if you notice the whole season, Poch has been saying the same thing. Fans need to adjust. It's no longer the same Chelsea anymore. We are building a project for a long term. This is no longer the same Chelsea that it was. I want to win titles. I want to do this. Meaning that he also feels disempowered in his position as manager in getting involved in how the team does its recruitment. Even in January, he said the same thing. 
I'm going to try to speak to them and see how we can still manage recruitment because our needs don't match. What happened in January? Before AFCON, we got rid of the only backup striker we had in Broya for him to go sit on the bench at Fulham. And then, Facts. while we're going to lose Jackson to Cameroon for the AFCON, which is utter stupidity, the, the stuff that you, you could never, like, there were, there were things that were intolerable né, with the way Chelsea was ran before, even under Marina. But this season and last season are the own goals, own of goals. horrible decision making, especially around squad building. Around last season, we had the biggest squad in the in the in the league, for example. This season, we have the youngest and most inexperienced squad in the league. Both seasons, we are seeing the the pitfalls of both, and on both in both seasons, we had two coaches who had never coached for for the levels that are required at Chelsea. Meaning that the coaches that qualify for a Chelsea job are refusing the job because the owners do not know what it means to actually run a club like Chelsea. And that and is then the you look, problem at Chelsea. You, 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 look at, you yeah. look at what's happening, you look at what's happening with our, uh, our experienced players that we let go. Hey, they're shining like yeah. they, they want to see your ex. They end they up that. I watched Arsenal last night. I'm looking at, I'm like, this is not the same Kai that we had. Have you seen his stats yeah. for the it's, season? It's the same player. He has, he, has, he has one assist more than last season. It's the exact same player, guys. Because Literally all of them, they glow yeah, and true. look at us. They are playing. They are playing in systems that are possession based. The same systems they were recruited into when they went to Chelsea. Kovacic was great under Sari. So was um, Jorginho because they were possession based systems. Kovacic was great under under Tuchel. So was Jorginho because possession based system. The problem here is we do not know, and and it's the club. The club is not aware of what football is today. They don't realize the importance of a coach, the importance of a coach at implementing a style. The same problem Man United has. Man United yeah. cares more about what relationship the coach has with the board as opposed to what they can produce in the field of play. So if a True. coach panders to the board, that coach is going to stay. So at Man United, Ten Hag, there's anything, anything wrong about United board or anything. And the United board has given him a red carpet. They were signing shit players for him for, for yeah. money. Malasia, um, Anthony, all of these shit players they were but, signing for him for big money. And th- there's no scrutiny, not, none whatsoever. No scrutiny when it comes to Erten Hag in his job. He's very relaxed, very long rope as well. So once the culture is set by the board to be a mediocre culture, then you can expect the coach to be a mediocre um, employment and the team is going to play mediocre football. That's exactly what's happening at both clubs. Hey, you got I know, okay, you see the money. No, dog. I know, okay. because yeah. we are going to watch, no, and if this nigga, watch bad hey, football If this nigga is talking about his club like this, what is he going to say about Manchester? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, we are going to watch bad football tonight. And I'm going to say it in the group that, guys, this is what I was talking about. We're going to watch horrible football tonight. Teams that like quality, teams that like cohesion, teams that look like they started playing together last week. Yeah, Sunday league. Players, especially How about playing you? players. Have been playing together for three plus seasons, but they don't look like it when they're on the pitch. Because, yeah. because there is no culture that enforces standards. Yeah, and without yeah. a culture that enforces standards, there's no accountability. That's why you have... A, 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 a captain who is Bruno Fernandes or Conor Gallagher at a big club. <laughs> no, true. I think. I think do both these players? players do both these players earlier. walk in a city? The also, man, the do they have the respect right. of their teammates? Do they have right. the respect yeah. of their teammates? Are they really the voice of that of that locker room? Like I, I fear the idea that Conor Gallagher is the one leading. Or uh, what, guys? Guys, <laughs> this is remember, remember, he got appointed based on passport. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Based on passport. It's nothing else. I mean... So did anyways, Ben Chilwell. Yeah, same look at, thing. Look at, look Even at all Rhys three James, guys that the Rhys, Rhys James, Look at all three of them. Rhys James, no, fit, oh, no fitness. Ben yeah. Chilwell, no fitness. Conor Gallagher, super fit. No football. Hey. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we like, doing? Peter spoke about it earlier, guys, when he spoke about when he sees, because I, I, I'm pretty sure we all follow certain players that play for our clubs and probably the yeah. club itself. And when you see certain things like Etchimini, dog, and you you see the posts and you're like, these guys aren't training. They're not training, dog. They're busy by a poster. They do social media things. How about Dali, dog? They're not training. At the end of training sessions, guys are joking. They don't look tired. I understand they are closed oh. sessions. But guys, I've trained. We've all played at, at small-sided games. After a game, you are tired. You're like, damn, these guys are not tired. I'm like, Jimmy, they are not working. They are not putting in the hours, guys. And like Onke said, today we're going to see very bad football, guys. It's sad to say, I hope my team wins. I do hope my team wins. Um, but but it, it, it will be a very scrappy game. That's all I'm going to say. It'll be very scrappy. I, watch, I, I, I like to watch Man City training videos as well as Agreed. Leverkusen training videos. Because I yeah. like Javi as a coach. And you will see the coach, you know, walking into the session, you know, directing play. Like, you know, yeah. when, when you strike the ball here, I want you to strike it there and all of that. There you watch Chelsea. You don't see Poch for like 15 minutes of the training video. And then you see him <laughs> sitting on a ball there in the corner. And you're like, <laughs> what is going on? What yeah. is the plan? Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe he's got, I, I, he's got I, that future AI. He's just doing our recordings, uploads it, AI predictability. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we should be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Let me just... How, how do you train? We, we have a young team. We have a young team. There has to be some technical work being done. There has to be, you know, how are you helping Mudrik with his first touch? How are you helping... Um, Jackson. Um, um, Noni control... Like, Jackson with his finishing... You don't see that personal touch. You see it when training is over and he's working with the players. And now he picks one player to work with, you know, and, and look yeah. like he's advising him. He wants to be friends with the players. And and, and yeah. it, it bothers the crap out of me. Ish, are we yeah. doing that combined 11? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combined. Yeah, guys, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, just a <laughs> reminder there. I do see this. Why even embarrass us, though? Thank you for why are you doing this? Aye, man, right. Let's 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 take our time with this. Why are you guys in a hurry? Come on, this is a let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Goalkeeper Petrovic. Yeah. Over on Nana. Onana. Yeah, Onana is like a C sets me, Mike, Onke. Let's do it like that. Okay, fine. <laughs> and I say you're wrong. I say you're wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Meli. Onana. Petrovic. Okay. Petrovic with Onke. It's, it's Petrovic. Danke, ah. Dan, told you. I told you, you guys are just, it's going to be out now. No, no, no. It's not, we know our no, team like, is, is pop. And I feel like later on, we can go back and review because obviously, Onana's strength is playing with his feet. Based on who our center backs are, we also have to consider that. Stuff. Ah, so we can this, go back and review. The goalkeeper's primary function in Fetu is to say. Yeah. To play that that's not why he was signed. That's goalkeeping. not why he was signed to our club. <laughs> that's not why we signed him. Yeah. We no, signed him to one of the Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Petrovic. Oh, no, no. Yes, oh, no, no. Uh-uh. Pelu, please. That's the lead. He went back home. Oh, no, no. Just because, just because, just because oh, no, no faces 30 shots a game. Just because oh, no. oh, no faces 30 shots a game. Uh-uh. <laughs> Which he keeps uh-uh. out. Which he keeps out. Like 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. He's a dude, dog. He hasn't been making mistakes, dog. You know. But anyway, it's fine. Petrovic anyway. wins. Okay, fine. And then of course, left back. <laughs> 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 
I, we, we don't have a left back. Hey, <laughs> <that's it. laughs> we don't have quiet. a player. Can, can player. you see the honesty? Can you see the honesty in us? <laughs> we, we <don't laughs> <have. laughs> Yo, okay, dog is like, I did that. We don't have. <laughs> no, we also the, don't have, dog. <laughs> but let, let, no, let me let, let, let me let me let me put it this way, ne? Let me put it this way. We started the season playing Colwyn at, at left back, ne? Yeah. And then we started playing Ben at left back, and then he got yeah. injured. So that's and true. Too. Kukurela came back after his yeah. injuries. He's currently yeah. playing left back, and he's playing well. But I'm not gonna yeah. put Kukurela from five games. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. still think <laughs> if we were to compare left backs, it'd be our best left back. On at Chelsea, he's the best left back, but he's only played a handful of games, so I'm not gonna put him in a combined eleven. It's not fair. So we don't really yeah. have a left back. So I don't know who you United now. Oh, no way. Shaw is injured. You've had to use Dalo as well as one beside Dalo. Yeah, honestly, Dalo takes it for me. Yeah, put Dalo there. Because I Dalo in right job of face. Ah, because and Gusto is taking right back. Yeah, yeah. take put Dalo there. Who are we putting in the two there? There, 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 there are those two green positions. <laughs> Yeah, this one I agree. No, no, let, really let's, a... let's compete, you... Gusto. Let's compete, Gusto. There, how do you yeah. spell Gusto? You can't spell Gusto. I spelled it. Here it is. Yeah, Mala. Yeah, these two. I... All right. It's a rat. It's a rat. It's a go first. The internet. It's a rat. I'm going first. Baran. Baran. He came right since You know, back. yeah. So you know, if if we were if we were having a very normal season, it would be Varan and Thiago Silva. But Thiago yes. Silva has been benched for like two months now for no reason. Now it's because of his wife. Line. His wife told the truth. And then people don't say that. When when have we ever? When have we ever done that? When did Chelsea become Man United? Where social media mattered on the pitch. True facts. Anyway, yeah, put Varane and uh, I can't say disaster, guys. I, I really can't. Yeah, disaster, no, 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 it is us, the guys. It's not disaster and it's not Paria Shield. So I know, but Paria Shield has been awful this season, yo. So, Linda Law, guys. I really thought. Uban, Gluma, talk to me. Who gets? I <laughs> Considering Lindelof is <laughs> left back as well. Yeah, she was, you are cold. She was. She Considering Lindelof has also played left back. Criso, I see you. Ah, Criso is right, actually. Evans. Criso. Criso is right, you. Evans. It pains, Evans. it pains me to say that. Evans. Oh, to that old yeah. man is literally walking Evans, in yeah. the starting level. X. Yes, it's Evans. No, no this, this is, is the wrong one. No, well, that guy could be better than our Evans, but not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> not that guy. Ah, I was trying to <laughs> I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, <laughs> leave him leave him there. Let's move on. It's H, eh? You see these yellow ones? I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to see what the Chelsea fans are going to see. <laughs> hey, guys, but, I don't but, know why I can't find Evans. Yeah, it's fine. Leave, leave this Evans here. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll know who it is. We'll know who it is. Okay. I'm afraid he has to be somewhere. Ah, you're going to obsess over this old man. Ah, uh, of course. He's what not the know? right age. Okay, and then he has the not the right age. All right, cool. Let's move in the center now. Okay. Age, midfield. Kobe yeah. Minu. There we go. So, yeah. There we go. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I, I might do hate. Uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Me he's the, he's the best of the worst. 
Which is right. He has been decent. <laughs> nah, dude, you can't compare somebody that's only played like 10 games, Joe, to somebody that's oh, played what? like what? Ah. He's in form. Okay. What do you mean? I need to understand. He's in form. I, I need to understand something. Is is Kobe Mino a DM? I, I personally I think it's a CM. Yeah. Right. So I'm fine and you just Kobe because... Mino would be challenging. Wait. So Kobe Mino's position, he'd be challenging Enzo Fernandez. I'm taking Enzo Fernandez 100,000 times before I take him. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah, you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. That is DM is Kaiseido. It's Kaiseido. <laughs> yeah, DM. Like, what what is is okay, okay Sita. Sita and X, Kuluman. Kuluman. X, Kuluman, dot. I'm not saying Kobe, dog. I also say Kobe. I say I'm Kobe. going with... I'm going with Moises. Let's cut. Let, let's part the seas. Ah, you see, you guys are with Chelsea. Uh, nah, it's not just because I'm yeah, Moses. Guys, Shiva. Let's ask Shiva as well, man. Shiva, who, who, who? No, nah, I don't trust Shiva. Watching. Everybody I, I watching. Trust, who I, should be I, there? I prefer Tushu than Shiva. Shiva talks a lot of stuff. Tushu has been brilliant. Tushu, please Kobe back us up. Horrible off the ball. Kobe Mano only looks good when he has the ball at his feet. He's horrible off the ball as a midfielder. He's a liability in that midfield. <laughs> He's a liability in midfield. They literally run through your midfield every week. They run through it every single week with Kobe Mino and his small figure there. Yeah, it's Mango, because, it's because tactically, dog, we play we play a high press nah, low block. That, that, so our defense low block and then our front it, 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 it's, it's Kaiseiro, guys. DM is Kaiseiro. Ah, nyai piga leo. Mpage X, cause it's three to two. We're going to lose. Ah. I don't know people I... that are that are arguing this when May United concedes twenty plus shots a game and loses the midfield, that, midfield battle midfield every fault? single week. Is that our midfield's fault? Is that our midfield's fault? It's How is it not your midfield's fault. Your midfield is not your midfield's fault. fault. They it's play not... through it. Our first defenders are up front, and those three niggas up front cannot press. So it can't only be our midfield. No, no, don't say they can't press. They they refuse to press. They go, don't they press. They to Two press. different things. But you won, guys. There's Casado. You won. You yeah, go. let's move on. Who else? Chelsea fans. Kuluman, you guys are going to want um the whole Chelsea mid. Mpunu Gallagher. Mpunu Gallagher. Okay, we'll, we'll put Gallagher. No, in hell no. Are, are you guys, guys going to... Nelly, what's have, wrong now? Tomine over Enzo Fernandez. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are realistic. We won't do that. That's that's tomfoolery. That's tomfoolery. We won't do that. Fago Enzo X. Fago Enzo. Fago Enzo dog. The lineups are out. Yeah, where are they? Okay. Team news. Um, Onana, Dalo, Veran, Mequia, uh, Mequia, uh, Juan Besaka, uh, Lomainuwe, Nukasimero. Uh, Anthony Fernandez, Nacho, and your boy Holland up front is back. Uh, Chelsea, Petrovic, Gusto, Tisasi, Barishil, Kukurela, Caicedo, Enzo, Gallagher. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Karma, <laughs> Jetson, and Mudry. Up front? Okay. Um, up up front, up. Baba. Yeah, yeah. Mwashi. Karma, <laughs> Jetson. Uh, who are we putting in as thing? We, we... And your number 10. Who are we putting as another CM there, Tim? That's Bruno. Casemiro. Cas oh, Bruno. That's not Casemiro. That's Bruno. Bruno. Hey, hey Gallagher. Gallagher. Gallagher starts. Oh, Fucking hell. Damn, I can't believe Moises Caicedo is gonna is in this team. Um, okay, up front. <laughs> Cole Palmer. Uh, Cole Palmer. Yeah. Cole Palmer. Yeah. Right. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. 
I'm interested yeah. in left wing. I'm very interested in left wing. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Very, very interested. Because Bapete, U Anthony, Ay, Ay, Nabushi, that man, you know, I thought, guys, give us Canacho. Give us Canacho. Are you taking him or Rashford? Ah, Canacho. We are talking in form. We're talking about players that are in form right now. Get to Canacho. Now, I, I'll give from? you Canacho, honestly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. Because we've played Sterling. Me, man. I like because we've played Sterling for most of the season over Mudrik. If Mudrik was playing more, I would take, yeah, I would take uh, Mudrik Shivar. over Ganacho. But Ganacho's played, and Ganacho's played well. Yes, sir. Shivar. Yeah, your striker, your striker is striker. obvious. And uh, dude, Jackson has scored more goals than that. Oh guy. my uh -uh. god, this man said Jackson. I'm now. Hoyland, <laughs> <laughs> Baba. Uh -uh. Okay, right. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, this, that's alone, though. What's a striker's function to score goals? Yeah, being but I, 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 do, I do really have a problem with the striker part. I think both teams should take an L on the striker. <laughs> Hoyland is a box striker, is a box striker that only started scoring goals in December. And okay. it's still in single digits in scoring. And then yeah. U, U Lento, U, U, Jackson. U, 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 Jackson is a Usi's great way, striker way in possession. He can drive and everything. But when once he gets in front of goal, he makes the dumbest decisions you could ever imagine. So I, I don't think we have anything to brag about when it comes to strikers. Jackson will have the numbers because he's played more games and more minutes than, than U Hoyland. U Hoyland, I don't know what he has. Honestly, he'll score well, the, well, the well, goal. Well, no, he also hasn't scored that much this yeah. season. Yeah. He hasn't scored. Yeah. I'll concede. I'll concede. I'll concede. I'll concede. I'll concede. We gave you niggas Kaiseido. We gave you niggas Kaiseido from the bottom of our hearts. We were Next being like... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a choice. It's not like we gave you. We didn't have a choice. Mm -mm. We had a choice. What do you mean? I can guarantee you tonight. I can guarantee you tonight, Um, Okaiser is gonna dominate Mino as well. Mino gets dominated by midfielders. He just looks good when he has the ball. Because he uh, can't do it. Uh, he's, he's a no, victim of his circumstance on campaign. He's on a victim. What's, of what's, what's, what's the, the circumstance? <laughs> What's the circumstance? What's the circumstance? He's the best of the worst. Of the ball. Ball. His coach, That's bro. That's the circumstance. He's his coach has to he's useless off the ball, though. He can't stop. He can't stop anyone. He's useless off the ball. Oh shit! Why didn't they play Chukomeka tonight, too? Kaka the player. Hey, well, well Chukomeka never plays. Kaka. There's Kona Galaga, dog. What? What? Are, what? What are these questions? Chukomeka. I said Benji, Mike. <laughs> Hmm? No, I saw I saw that um Chukomek is on the bench. Ah, I just saw the lineup yeah. There's Kona Gallagher. Running. Why are you asking these questions? <laughs> there's Kona Gallagher. Why would you play Chukomeka when Kona Gallagher's there? The whole captain. <laughs> See, I feel like my must my captain heart is there. you guys like through and through. This nigga's like, oh my niggas must play put up 15 niggas on the field. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mina, okay, Mina, guys. I'm willing to I'm willing to give you guys Hoyland. Because my striker misses for five. Yeah. yeah I'm the ball was on outside. Pagano Hoyland. How do you spell Hoyland? Hot. Pablo Hot. H. 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 Uh, it's H. O. J. There it is. It should be the only one. Uh, is this a, that's not an O, though. See, I'm asked by this. I don't know. Island. Yeah, I said this. Yeah, I said this. I have a point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this team this team would challenge Liverpool this one. Ah, this one. <laughs> this one. It would challenge ah, you'll never know with these boys. Okay. I... But everybody is playing to their the best abilities, to their abilities. Casado on form. Enzo fucking doing what Enzo did in the World Cup. Then yes. Then yes. Oh, Bruno Enzo. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, work for us. Even, what do you even if you know, it doesn't bring money. Like, <laughs> <to work. laughs> he's focused on the midfield. He's only focused on Chelsea players. It's like what? What? Because, what, what, because what, your your two your two can have a, like when when sorry when Caicedo and Fernandez have a bad game, it's fucking bad. When Fernandez has a bad game, it's like forty percent bad. It's not that bad compared to no, when no, I, yeah, I don't lie, don't lie. I don't lie. Whenever, dog. Don't, uh, lie. don't lie. Yeah. When Bruno don't has lie. a terrible game, literally you can see that he's he he was missing. The thing is, when Bruno, Bruno has a bad Bruno, game, he's still the best player as well. United. With Bruno, you see it emotionally when he had a bad game. He 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 gets emotional. He starts yelling True. at everyone. He snaps at the ref. True. No, Legends. Bruno's bad games are the worst games you can watch. Honestly. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's the combined 11. <laughs> That's the combined 11. Take all those clouds, dog. Come on it out. This is <laughs> bad. <laughs> to... How about clouds? No. The cry to this point. Ah, oh, guys, this is crazy no that's the truth another used to be like see, that's where we are james yeah uh, none, of, none of these think... niggas are walking into city none of these niggas are walking into uh arsenal it's it's, it's late guys it's late uh, but Come i think on. i think to be fair to be fair yeah. some of those teams are not the greatest palmer's walking back into city city don't have wings um they yeah. only have folded they don't have wings. They are weak in the wings right now. But he just came um, from there. I, think, I didn't say that, but I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I think I think Enzo can walk into City. Um, in the midfield, outside of um, Rodri, um, City's midfield has been very choppy this season, especially on the left where they play Kovacic and um, who's that guy? Nunes. Is it Nunes? Yeah. yeah. The one from yeah, the Nunes. Yeah, his career is yeah, been, it's taking a, a Kevin yeah, Phillips. They've been very choppy that side. So I don't think City is as invincible. They're actually rebuilding right now because they lost yeah. Mares and Kundo. So I think some of those players can have an opportunity to go into the City team. I think Gusto is better than Walker currently on current form. I think Dalo is better than Walker on current form. Um, yeah. So the right back position is up for the taking. I, Walker is okay. having a bad season. Walker has yeah. so many... Hey, Walker's been beaten so bad this season. He just has that pace where he recovers. You can't beat yeah. him with pace. But when it comes to 1v1, True. I mean, he's been embarrassed by so many wingers this season. It's not fi- It's not funny yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's bad. So, yeah, no, no, no. And you can't find such tape on Gusto or Dalo this season. They are, so, they are so good one-on-one. You know, it's mm, like you're yeah. watching one Pisaka when you watch those guys now. You can't beat yeah. them one-on-one. You know, they are very Nigga, intelligent what are you trying to say? defenders. What are you trying to say, Unke? <laughs> no, I'm trying to say that individually, individually, these teams have quality. Both of them have quality individually. The bad yeah. football comes from how these teams are coached. There's a there's a clip last week last week where Bruno was 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 pressing and Brentford basically they 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 they, they let the number eight press. When Bruno presses, they they move the the, the 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 right winger deep into right back so that they can play into right winger. And the main United fullback wasn't pressing with the team. And I kept saying, this is coached. You coach yeah. the team to play like that. That's why there's a gap. This yep. is why teams have high lines, for example. It's a coaching principle sure. to say, if, yeah. if we are pressing, we have to be high. But because Bay United doesn't have recovery pace, their defense has to play off. So they really can't play a high press. It's very, it's so complex, you know. Yeah. It's the nine yeah. kids that maybe would walk out to his own. I, yo, yeah. predictions, and then let's go watch the game. The first yeah. game. prediction. Hundred percent. I start off with Mike. Let's start off with Mike. Prediction. Uh, we move by faith, not by sight. Um, three <laughs> He's, like a, he's speaking like a Chiefs fan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. uh, That's a man who knows pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My faith. Um, okay, for the Liverpool game, I think it's a Liverpool. Um, they'll demolish. It's probably going to be like a four 0 to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, Brighton plays too open. Liverpool loves teams that open up for them. 
Salah Sheffield. is going to enjoy playing against a team that plays like that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So Liverpool four nil. I think the Chelsea United game is going to be a one one draw. Ooh, that's ballsy. <laughs> wow, they ballsy played more draws. Might play? What was Mike's prediction? What's your pathetic nigga? I told you, we're moving by faith. We're moving yeah. by faith, not by sight. What? Yeah. I'll, I'll keep your, I'll keep your score. You're not yeah. predicting scores. He said 3 0. Mike said 3 0. Oh. Onke said 1 1. When I'm a My nigga's faith is, is Allah, God, all of. All of. I see that. Guy. This is me. 3-1 to Chelsea. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe. Um, woo, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I'm going to say 2-1 to Manchester United Football Club. Yeah. X, X what are you We're saying? playing the Stamford Bridge, man. Yeah. At the bridge. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, ah, sir. That's a library. That's a library. It's going to feel like a home game for United. That crowd. Yeah, is you, know, so you know what? One thing I can say. No. These guys nice. come up against big teams. Yeah, City was around. one game that I was anticipating. I was anticipating getting a, a, an ass whipping, but Maveli yeah. level. X, what are you saying? X, what are you yeah, saying? Man United is not a big team, guys. It's in a big team. We're not a big team. 2 1. I'm a good team, so we need to talk 2 1. Let's go, guys. But I'm not gonna celebrate it because we got Liverpool on, on on the weekend, dog. So, ish. 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 I'm, tell, I'm telling you, Conference League, you're, you're gonna let energy, a Conference League ish, boy. Dog. It's gonna come within our players, boy. And then dog. we are going to. Why did we beat you 5 0, too? 5 0? Yeah. Ah, Mike. Are you. Hey, hey, <laughs> we'll you talk about five, that. 5 0. 5 0 is a dream. But the thing <laughs> is, the way United concede chances, ne? It can mm. really happen. Like, you know, it it could, like yeah. it's so easy to create chances against United. It, like, mm. you, remember how Brentford scored? Ne? It was like, yeah. why did you guys wait the whole game to score now? They had much yeah. easier chances than the one that they actually scored for the for the yeah. one one. Yeah, this has been the team with under 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 ten hard. Like teams score, uh, United can score, and a team will score like seconds later. Because it's so easy to get to their goal. It really is. The bypassing of the midfield. Gents, I need so you to go. And then they All say the we can't blame their midfield. Cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. cheers, cheers, I, cheers. I know. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. You guys yeah, can continue. Yeah, I'll stay in. Let's see, Meli. Hey, Man United. Clapping cool, you know. Thank you. I'll see you, niggas. Yeah, 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 but like now myself, I wanted us to call it so that we can watch the Liverpool game, guys. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I also want to watch it. The Much appreciated. Yeah, cheers, guys. Like, All comment, right. share, subscribe to the channel. Helps easy out. See song Take care. Away. Away. <clears throat>